Hi dear friends welcome to top education so today we are discussing on new education policy which is brought out in India and it is the change after 34 years yes guys after 34 years we are seeing a, a huge change in education policy so here guys actually you uh, why this change yes you will be having the uh, questions why this change now for example a student he had passed his 10th standard and he he do, do not have any interest in his education so here what happened is the new education policy is that thing which gives skills to that particular person yes so after 10th if he want to work and earn something so he will be capable because in the sixth standard only the coding is started so this is the i think this is the better way to modify the education system and actually it has been a good change also guys you have also guys you have uh, messy also you have asked us what is the policy what are the advantages what are the disadvantages you know let's discuss in this thing if you are new to our channel then subscribe first and press on to the bell icon to receive this types of videos as soon as possible and of course guys we are also on instagram where we have daily quizzes and also we share the important notice or regarding the examinations we share there so follow us there also let's begin with the video education policy after 34 years the 10th plus 12 system will be divided into 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 format now how they are doing it first we had from the first standard to 10th standard we had normal classes just go uh, write the notes write the assignments give marks bantu okay enjoy now what happened here is from first to fifth standard yes from first to fifth standard they'll also have vernacular languages vernacular languages like tamil telugu kan kannada hindi also will be taken as main part those languages also because what happened here is the education system have given more importance to english but yes we also had to give importance to our vernacular languages and those are hindi tamil telugu and so on next what happened is plus three now here after a fifth standard the sixth standard students will start learning coding subject now you will see what is this coding so this is especially for i think for uh, the coding is done for developing some websites getting the answers html so this i uh, actually uh, when i was a student i was not knowing the computer knowledge when i come to 10th standard i was not having any knowledge of computer so this is a very good step from the government yes next again plus three so sixth seventh eighth they will have so that is like a secondary and next next they have is 9th standard 10th standard and 11th standard that they may face board exams also because 10th standard is included that and also guys here in this new education policy they will have practical way of seeing the things now for example uh, as we study in our commerce yes the teacher come in the college she just she teach few points this this that okay done i'm going not like that and now they will explain the each and every point and also they will prove practically how it works so that will be very important and guys this new education policy is still your degree and here we'll also learn new new things also guys here 
uh, the students who are coming in this new education policy as we are not the part of this thing yes we are not the part of new education policy because we have completed uh, uh, bcom we are the last year so no changes anything in the syllabus all changes are for coming students and <clears throat> 6% gdp to education gross domestic production is for 6% so the annual 6% of the what they collect tax all will be spent in the education i think it is a great thing but uh, as we learn uh, as i saw in other news is also the gdp all uh, it was only 4% or 5.5 something now they have mentioned 6 there is no rigid separation between science and art stream actually what happened here is in the puc after slc you have three streams commerce science arts now they have changed up commerce yes it will have separate arts and science are to be combined for example, a fashion student want to study physics, he can do it. Yes, he can do it. Next, every child will come out of the school adept in at least one skill. So, why this new education policy? As I said in my beginning of my video, a 10th standard SLC student can do a job, can do a work because they are given the practical way of how the work is done and all so that will be very good mhrd renamed as education ministry this is a, a small a slight change also national education technology forum so that is also called a forum which is only for the new education policy where it will look after this policies and all common entrance exams for all higher education common entrance exam what is common entrance exam means that the common sense questions uh, they, will, uh, they will test your gk they will test your capabilities they will test your skills and they will take to your a uh, school in a school for admission purpose if you are shifting to some anywhere else this common entrance test will be taken as uh, you all had something called admission test same as like this only ai based assignment actually this bcom student has the ai system that is co-curriculum co so where uh, that is co-curriculum where how the performance of a student is how the behavior of the student is and how he deals with the subjects and how he deals with his friends and the teachers the behavior the attitude all they have measured and this marks will be given test knowledge application so then also here you will uh, here you will have mcqs more than the writing part next you have coding yeah I, as i said in my beginning only coding from class sixth e-course in regional language now why this e-course in regional language now guys for example if uh, you can see this small schools where they use vernacular languages like they speak Kannada and then teach for them e-course will be in regional languages also so it will be very helpful now what is e-course means e-course where everything related to technology and all now you can know in this two three years the technology had grown rapidly yes now what the education was that is like simple thing now a uh, becomes uh, see now what you're learning in the cell phone on the youtube is more than you study in the schools yes so this uh, education policies have been came into presence and all uh, for more information guys you can subscribe us will uh, will inform you if we have any changes in this concept so thank you guys for watching this video if you like then please subscribe to the channel top education and also don't forget to comment below the new education policy is good or bad 
let's have a small debate on the comment section thank you guys